watering with carbon-based nutrients. Is this something that people can still do within a high-frequency fertigation drip system, let's say? Because that's what everybody's wanting right now, whether it's commercial grow or home grow. They want drip irrigation. They want to feed 13 times a day. They want to get pounds per plant. Again, crop steering. Is this something that you can still do, or is this hand watering or just foliar feeding only would be the best? I mean, you can do crop steering. Uh, the only consideration is the equipment and how it responds. If you have biofilms and things like that building up, it may create some problems. But as far as like being able to crop steer and feed, you know, 13 to 15 times per day using these types of products, you can do that. Uh, I, you know, personally, I don't think that that's the best way to do it. Uh, I think you can get better results being more in line with the with nature. Um, because nature is optimized already. We're just trying to catch up to everything. And rather than overriding what nature naturally does, I think it's work, better to work within the confines that's been established. So the answer is, yeah, you can use you know carbon-based fertilizers to do that. Uh, you can also do foliar sprays in conjunction with that. I mean, it kind of depends on how far you let the plants dry back and what the humidity in the air is like and really what the moisture retention capacity of the soil is. I think for crop steering in particular, people get into VPD is a very important thing, but VPD is just one tiny cross-section of the larger soil plant air continuum, right? You have this thing going on in the soil where the soil holds on water and there's a ton of water in the soil, not so much in the air. So if the soil is really wet and the air is really dry, that forces the transpiration pump to happen, right? But if the air is really wet and the soil is really wet, that plant's going to get waterlogged really, really fast. So the, the point that I want to make about that is when, when we're feeding carbon to the plants through the feed water, the goal really is to optimize the feed water uptake. We want the air to be dry because that's going to encourage the plants to transpire. It'll create a wicking effect. If the VPD is high, it's going to pull moisture out of the plants. And then what we want is a medium that is either within a particular moisture range, and then we'll have our equipment come in and, and make sure that the, that the uh, medium doesn't get too dry. Because at a certain point, what ends up happening is the pressure differentials change. You've got the VPD acting to pull moisture out, but if the soil gets too dry, it's going to create a wicking effect as well. So now the plant's being robbed from both ends. The roots are getting dehydrated and the top of the plant is being dehydrated.